And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat and, of course, our morning cup of coffee. And I uh, wanted to talk today for a little bit about some of the difficulties and challenges we're facing um, with technology. And lately, in light of a couple of the stories that have been, you know, really popular in the news, um, the TikTok challenges, of course, I mean, even as a parent, from my local school system, I got a notification about the TikTok challenges and the dangers of those things um, and just the challenges that it's presenting for the education system. Um, you know, I think uh, the challenge for this month or the coming month is something like smack a school staff member on the backside. Uh, maybe the one after that is, you know, challenging the kids through TikTok to kiss your friend's girlfriend at school stuff like that in light of that ridiculous stuff that's going on and of course the uh, the Facebook uh, whistleblower and all the information that's being put out about the dangers of, uh, of you know uh, social media um, you know to talk a little bit about that and obviously I'm not opposed to technology if I was you wouldn't be seeing me right now I have no problem with technology uh, in as much as it can be you know valuable and useful and helpful uh, in day-to-day -day life, but I think when you go to an extreme, obviously it can become a temptation and become difficult. So um, first and foremost, let's take a, t take a look and think about how it's affecting our kids. Um, you know, these, apart from the TikTok stuff, which is just ridiculous, uh, but what's been revealed lately about the challenges and difficulties um, with Instagram and, and some of the different platforms um, the challenges it's presenting to our teenagers, especially our teenage girls that have, that have been identified to be really struggling um, with the usage of social media. You know, we remember what it's like to be teenagers. I mean, you're just looking for, um, you know, acceptance. You're looking for a place where you fit in. And, but, you know, for our generation, for those of us in our 40s, 50s, and beyond, um, we remember what it was like uh, in a sense, but it was a very different world. I mean, we went to school and school was tough. Um, you know, there was the popular group and the not so popular group and you tried to fit in and if you had a rough day, you had a rough day, but you got to go home and you got to spend time with family and you got to be with, you know, your siblings and with your parents and there was one phone in the house and if you wanted to continue to interact with your friends, they had to either come over to your house or they had to have the guts to call your family phone and probably have your mom or dad answer and, and talk to them. Nowadays, think about how different it is. I mean, these, these kids have to deal with this complete immersion in social media and this immersion in, in what's happening with popularity and well, how many people are following me and how many likes am I getting and I'm not getting it, so I'm not popular. Um, you know, the thoughts of suicide and, and the potential for other kinds of disorders, whether it's depression or anxiety, eating disorders, all sorts of things are, are increasing. They're not going down. And uh, so we can think about the, the potential good use that comes out of technology. But I think as parents for our kids, we have to be careful and, you know, ultimately for ourselves. I mean, I remember what it was like when I was first ordained. Of course, I didn't have a cell phone. Um, and so when people needed to get a hold of me, the church had an answering service. I mean, much like a doctor's office, you had to call and you had to leave a message and the answering service would call me at my home phone, my one line that I had. I didn't have a beeper. I wasn't one of those guys uh, or a pager. And that was it. And when I needed to go visit someone, I had a map in my car. I used to have a Thomas guide, those big books that you would have to map out in advance and mark the pages and the different colored sections that you would be going to to visit someone. I mean, it was a different world um, than it is now. And um, now we don't have a chance to unplug and to take a break. Um, my cell phone, for the most part, is in my pocket, you know, 24-7. It's on me all the time. And there's an expectation that you're answering phone calls, texts, and emails, that you're constantly um, accessible to everyone. And when do you get a chance mentally or emotionally or spiritually to take a breath and to, to take a break and we all need that our kids need it we need it um, and so technology is not a bad thing in of itself it's not evil but I guess what I would be thinking about uh, for today in light of these things that are out there is for us to be able to sort of unplug once in a while limit how much our kids are doing be, pay attention to what they're doing pay extra attention uh, to how they're feeling and, and how they're reacting to these things and for ourselves also limit 
set limitations uh, for what we're willing to do and capable to do and how much we want to be plugged in and just you know ask ourselves well how healthy is that and do I want to be maybe a little bit healthier uh, once again may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day Amen